Hi Libras, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be love messages for the sign of Libra. Today, Sunday, January the 16th. This is a healing sound bowl or a sound healing bowl. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Get his ass up out of here. Okay, let's see. Messages for my Libra, January the 16th. What you should know today. Just random messages for my Libra in spirit. For January the 16th. Okay, January the 16th, please. Spirit messages for my Libras. Please and thank you. What's going on with the Libras today on January the 16th? Yin energy. So, yin, you're standing in your divine feminine, minity, you're feeling good. Hold on, Anna. Hold on, Anna. You're feeling good. Look at that yin energy standing in your power. Okay, baby. We have round and round. So, something seems to be never ending here for you. But you could be feeling like you're going circles for the situation. Oh, time to go, yeah. Time to time to leave it, these cycles, the situations that are no longer conducive to your growth, Libra. You're leaving it behind. You're making the decision today to do that. Okay? And to move toward the things that make you happy here. So you're ending cycles that kept going, yeah. Truth be told. The truth could have came out because that came out in reverse here. So the truth could have came out. Yeah, you're between worlds. And then building block. Okay, I had the cards in. So they, they didn't come out in reverse. I just had the card. Yep, chop wood. So Libra, you decided to move on from the situation here. You decided to end a cycle that kept going round and round and wasn't getting anywhere. You decided to chop that off and move forward with your life with the between worlds. You're literally leaving one uh, old way of being or old, old person that you were dealing with to move towards something else. You're building blocks. You could be working on yourself, building up. I heard credit, but building up yourself, building up, starting a new rebuilding here. And like I said, the truth could have came out. Let me read something real quick. Just real quick. Okay. 14. Because I feel like that card is saying that you're being honest with yourself about moving forward from something you know you don't need to be on. Yes. As soon as I said that, it says honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of um, denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity, and communication. So, yeah, just like I said, you are moving forward. Yep, you're realizing and you're seeing stuff for what it is, just like I said, and you're moving on because you're realizing that you can't build anything with this person. Like, it's just it's just not going to work. You are realizing that in its entirety and you're ready to move forward to, to something that is more conducive to your life. And you have every right to do that, Lisa. You're tired of going around and around with a situation that's just never going to change. You've moved on, literally. You're leaving the dark, going to the light here. See that? Okay? That's what you're doing. You know it's time to go. It's the time to go car. And chop wood car. Yeah, you out of there. Just period. You're done. Somebody could feel like it's unfinished here. And then they want to come back because you're their soulmate. And they feel out in the cold with the orphan card. And, and 
but it's a lot of chaos and conflict with this person and you know this higher power is telling you that with the higher power card here okay yeah so let's see messages for libra january the 16th here. what messages do you have for my Libra? today january the 16th okay yeah change wanted to pop out here so i'm going to take it because that's conducive to your message yeah change you're changing you're taking on a change and also so that's in truth and the truth be told yeah you're realizing the truth or you spoke your truth here because that's the throat chakra card change miracles so because you you're making this change miracles are going to start to happen for you Libra. great things are going to start to happen for you you know what i'm saying once you get with the toxic energy that doesn't need to be there great things are going to start to happen to you signs for messages for my Librans. let's see wow sound healing throat chakra yeah you really speak as a country or you did okay and we did the sounding bowl at the beginning of the reading so yeah you're really speaking your truth here and letting somebody know how you feel and leaving that situation behind you spoke the truth here you got real with somebody i'm the light of my own so yeah you're standing in your own power, creative, gifted, and that is the third um, eye chakra. So you're, you're aware, you're intuitive that this is the decision that you need to make to get the creativity. Sacral chakra, you're standing in your confidence. That's, you know, sacral chakra rules, you know, um, confidence and, um, and power. So you're standing in your, your confidence. You're working on you. You could be starting something creative. You're just working on building you up. And making sure that you stand in your power and you stay close to source and you don't allow anybody to come in and disrupt your peace. And I think you let somebody know that. Okay, let's get a couple of more for my Libras, January the 16th spirit for my Libras. A couple of more cards for my Libras, January the 16th, please. What messages do you have for the Libra? Yep, two more, and that's what they gave me. The gift of strength, solar plexus. Yes, ma'am. That's your strength. That's your confidence. Okay, and then the sacral, I think that's your sexuality. Okay, so with this naked woman there in, in the sacral chakra, you're really feeling yourself, your body. You can like how you look in the mirror, but you're really feeling yourself, okay? The gift of strength, solar plexus. You're using your strength in the gift of dance or yeah you use your strength to pull you from a situation that you know is not good for you cleanse and protect yeah solar plexus you are protecting and defending your happiness your confidence you're not going to let anybody disrupt that tear you down mess that up or do anything like that for you you're standing in your power and somebody sees you standing in your power i'm hearing somebody thought that you needed them but you showed them that you did Messages for my Librans. Okay, January the 16th. What crystal uh, reading card can we pull for my Librans today? Maybe you should carry these particular crystals that come out with you today. Or they could just be plain, just messages that you need to hear. What's going on with my Librans, January the 16th, Spirit? What's going on with my Libra? January the 16th. What messages do you have for my Libra today? Spirit guys, what you have of the white light? Ancient wisdom wanted to flip over. So, yeah, you're listening to your God. You're going with him. Messages for my Libra, please. Spirit guys, what you of the white light? Yeah. You know a truth. And somebody thought, I don't know. Let's keep going, Libra. Let's see what other messages is. You're listening to your inner self. Yeah, forgiveness. Somebody could be wanting your forgiveness here, Libra. Yeah, because you let go of it. You have the courage to let go of a situation like somebody wants your um, your forgiveness. Yeah. Compassion, manifestation, creativity, learning. You're working on a craft here. You're at peace. Wow, you got clarity here. You're grateful. You're shining. You're balanced. You're listening to music or doing music healing, meditative healing. You accepted the situation. You're protected. You're empowered. You've been patient. And the, and, the, and the love is coming in. And Oh, because you said, oh, this is beautiful. Let's get some messages from our leaders, January the 16th spirit. 
Messages for my Libras for January the 16th, please. Messages for the Libra. Important messages for my Libras. We have relaxation. Yeah, you feeling relaxed, Libra? You feeling good, relaxed, comfortable? You're trying to balance your chakras on here? Here, yeah, forgiveness. I had to make it out. So somebody wants your forgiveness here, Libra. Somebody wants you to forgive them. Or you could be asking for somebody's forgiveness. But yeah, forgiveness is needed here, I guess. Or somebody's warning it. Somebody that you moved on from is wanting forgiveness. Messages from my leaders. Okay, it popped out. Letting go, yep. Because you let go of a situation, yep. You, and you're healing yourself. Somebody wants to work on it now. Courage, yeah. You have the courage to move forward in a situation. You're healing yourself. You're working on your self-acceptance. You're accepting that situation. It's not for you. Spiritual awakening. Yeah, you've had an awakening. It's just time to move forward. Heal yourself and accept the situation for what it is. But you have the courage to do that with the gift of strength. Yeah, you're very empowered. Yeah, because there was conflict here. Conflict that you want to get away from with someone. If somebody wants to ask for forgiveness for for creating conflict or something, I don't know. Let's see. Let's get some more calls from my leaders. All right. Let's see. Life purpose. Yeah. Relationship healing. Yeah, you're working on your life purpose here. You could have started something new, Libra. Yeah, you're not, yeah, trust, yeah. Somebody wants trust, they want to, they want you to trust them, they want to come out of conflict. Somebody wants your forgiveness here, Libra. Purification. Yeah. We have balance and abundance. Okay. If you're purifying yourself, you're balancing yourself, you're working on your abundance, your money, okay? Yeah, joy, being happy, and ancestors, yeah. Healthy boundaries, yeah. Somebody could be willing to come in for forgiveness. But you've set up healthy boundaries here, Libra, and I don't think that you, I just think that you're happy by yourself, you're working on yourself, and you don't want to deal with any chaos, conflict, lies, or any... Um, just extra shit I'm hearing you don't want to deal with at all, okay? So, let's get some messages for my Librans, please, Spirit. Yeah, you're really standing in your power. You have the courage, you're strong. And somebody knows that. Somebody knows that. Spirit God, the angels, universe, of the white light. Show me the cards I need to see, Spirit, please. Show me the cards I need to see for my Libras. January the 16th. For my Libras, January the 16th. What messages do you have for my Libras, Spirit? January the 16th. So somebody could be messaging you or warning, but you got them blocked. Well, if you got somebody blocked here, you are rejecting somebody, Libra. Yeah, the world card is over. Somebody from the past here. Yeah, you dropped the burdens of the past. It's over. Yeah, there's no more love there. Yeah, you're done with the conflict and the chaos. There go that conflict card. The lies and all that shit. The arrogance, the bullshit, the manipulation. You're just tired of it. Give me messages for Libra's. For January 
Yeah, you, you're standing in your power of the higher font here. You want respect. You're demanding it and you're getting it. Messages for my Libras, January the 16th, please, Spirit. Messages for my Libras for January the 16th. You're getting respect. You're being respected here, just period. Yep, the justice here. Oh, yeah, you're standing in your power. And you are not going for anything. Your courage and strength card. Yes, ma'am. The Queen of Cups, you're not giving your love anymore to a situation. Attention, love, or anything to a situation any longer. Page of Swords. So now somebody's going to watch you. Somebody's watching you from work. Okay. Yeah, Knight, Three of Pentacles with the Knight of um, Wands here. Somebody could want to, yeah, Three of Cups at down there, somebody want to reconcile or come in here, if you had an ending with, with the Ten of Swords, somebody you could have met at work or at the gym, okay, there's somebody from your past that is still watching you, that that you stopped giving your love and nurturing and affection to, you stood in your power and you said no more, you demanded respect to and you moved on, just period. The justice now high fuck could also be someone going through a divorce with the page of swords. Somebody could be uh, being delivered divorce papers here. That could be that too. Going to court to uh, uh, file divorce papers is what I'm hearing. Yeah, nine of swords. So yeah, now somebody is worried and rushing in because you you moved on and that you are not about to keep allowing somebody to play fucking games with you. Yeah, the sun, okay, so let's see. He's flipped over in the magician, yeah, at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the sun here. We have the star in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse, the two of cups, and the queen of swords. So somebody feels it manifested. You could be dealing with a Geminian here or an Aquarius or a Libra or a Taurus. Or Leo. But yeah, somebody was very, very manipulative with the magician card in the moon in reverse. They could have lied about a family dynamic here. Okay. But yeah, somebody uh, was very secretive and, and manipulative here. They could have hid a whole family from you. And they could have been acting like they were single when they were not. So now this person wants to come back in and take a leap of faith towards you. They offer you this Ace of Pentacles and, eight, and, and um, Ace of Swords. Somebody could even ask you to marry them on um, Libra. Yeah. Somebody could be asking you to marry them, but you block them. Or you block communication with this person. You don't feel that there's any hope in the situation. Or maybe this other person feels like all oh, hope is lost because, you know, of the games they played. But not a wands is very flighty. They could have been in and out in the past. And you put your foot down and said that that wasn't going to continue. Yeah. And now this person wants to come in and pull out all the stops with the magician card, but I feel like this person can be could be manipulative in Libra, so be careful of that. All right, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's pull out a few cards from the Gilded Tale. Messages for my Libras today. The messages you have for my Libra spirit guides and the universe. Of the white light daily, please, for my Libras. The messages you have for the Libras today, January the 16th. What messages do you have for my leaders today, January the 16th, Spirit? What messages do you have for my leaders, January the 16th, Spirit? Thank you. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands was in the um, deck when I spit it. So you're happy. You're doing something new. You're starting something new that makes you really happy. Justice. You are in your power. And the justice here is justice here again. Whatever took, whatever's going on, you are getting justice in that. You said it in your power, Libra. I'm talking about, like, for real. 
stand into your power. Okay? And somebody is stuck in their head. Somebody is mad. Yeah, somebody you met at the gym, at work, or something is still holding on to you. Or somebody from your past. Okay, let's keep going. Messages for my Libras today. January 16th. Messages for my Libras. January 16th. Okay, what do we have about the King of Pentacles? Yeah, Taurus. The Ten of Swords. You could have had an ending with a Taurus here. Okay. Yeah, somebody could have been married and is getting a divorce here. Yeah, the emperor could be a father or um, could even be your father, but a father figure or somebody older. Okay, yeah. Ace of Cups and the Empress is here. So yeah, something ended here with a water sign, okay? And somebody wants to come back to you, Libra. They feel a connection here with you. But you have this person blocked out, Libra. You the empress, you standing in your energy strong here. You're very, very strong in your, in, in your power. That's why you have the courage and strength card. You're being very strong and you're not dealing with anything that's not good for you. Spirit is going to, yeah, you're very intuitive here. Very, very um, psychic. And you listen to spirit. Yeah, nine of pentacles. You're standing on your own. You're single, independent, unencumbered here. Yeah, page one. Now somebody want to come in and message you. Yeah, the higher fun. The strength in reverse, I guess, because somebody can't hold it back anymore. It could be this torrent. Yeah, page of cups. They want to apologize to you here. Yeah, judgment. They want to reconcile. Yep, they're, they're, they're manifesting you here. This, this reconciliation, ten of cups, because you make them happy. You make them really happy here, Libra. Yeah, six of pentacles. In the past, they could have breadcrumbed you or they could just want to give to you. Yeah, seven of cups. They could be thinking about giving multiple things to you, multiple different gifts here. Yeah, the death could be done, could have been done with a Scorpio. There was an ending here. Yeah, the hermit, you went ghost on somebody, Libra. Or somebody with, yeah, three of swords because of a third party, a heartbreak. This is an ex. Because they, in the past, was offering you this punk-ass page of pentacles offer. And you wasn't taking it. Things were not moving like they should. Moving along with the chariot universe. The two of cups and the six of swords. So you moved on from this connection because spirit told you to. With the star and the four of swords. You moved on. You were guided to let the situation go with the Ten of Wands behind that. Because this person with the Five of Swords and the Devil was manipulative, toxic, a liar. Yeah, and the King of Cups behind it. They could have drank a lot. They could have been slick at the mouth, slide with their words. Yeah, you were just like, no. I'm not going to play those type of games with you. You know, because there's two queens. So one queen, there's something over with. And the other one, somebody wants to apologize and move things um, forward with. There could be no love, death in that marriage, no sex, no anything. And now this person is manifesting you back into their lives, wanting to basically reverse this heartache. Okay, let's get let's keep going. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple cards from the wellness um, card deck and a couple from the romance deck. Messages for my Libra spirit. What messages do you have for my Libra's January the 16th, 2021, January the 16th. What messages do you have for my Libras? January the 16th. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? January the 16th. Spirit, God's angels, universal white light only. Please give me messages for my Libras. January the 16th. Please and thank you. Okay. We got so many card decks on this table. Yeah. 
children. Yeah, this could be why you have children with Libra. Yeah, codependent that pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. Yeah, you you yeah, let's see. Get a couple cards for my Libra spirit. January the 16th. What does my Libras need to know? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the um usual type, your usual type of expectations. We have um a special love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. We have getting to know each other. Um, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So somebody wants to express their love. It could be a surprise as to who this is. Yeah, deception. It says some someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship and wedding. Yeah, somebody could have lied about being married in the past. Here and or they could have not been honest with you about their feelings toward you. Okay. Yeah, we have past life relationship. Now they feel this connection with you. With the higher front coming at twice in the wedding, somebody was definitely married. And it probably could have been it could have been children involved with the page of cups there too. Yeah, separation and um reconciliation. So yeah, this person is separated from you and religious factors keep coming out. So, like I said, there could be a divorce going on here. Somebody wants to divorce someone else and reconcile with you. Okay? Just period. Because they feel a very strong past life connection to you. And they want to pursue it because they feel like it'll make them happier through I'm here. Let's get a couple more cards from the romance deck. So, yeah. This person has a lot of passion for you. You feel like you deserve love. They've been the best. Yeah, because you love yourself first. Yeah, because you're very passionate and loving. And you feel like you deserve better than what this person has to offer you. Okay, you're loving yourself first. You deserve love. And you're right. Chemistry and releasing your ex. Yeah. Make the effort. Somebody here feels like, you know, they that you're the one for them, Libra. They want to release their ex. They feel a lot of chemistry and passion towards you. They really like that you love yourself, that you're confident, that you stand in your power, and now they want to make the effort to work towards you. Finances and career, they could heart-to-heart -heart conversation, finances. So they could be working on their finances, trying to save up to give you something, or they could want to give you something here. Yeah. Yeah, they want to have a heart to heart conversation. I'm quite thorough, but I'm not sure if you're want if you're wanting to. But they want to call you, or, or they're calling you in because they feel you're their true love. They feel that you're worth waiting for because they feel safe about love with you. They want you to stay optimistic about the situation because very soon they're coming in. This new love is coming in, and then and you you may be getting proposed to here and they may be asking their friends about how to propose to you here Libra and express their romantic feelings with you okay so somebody wants to come in and apologize somebody's leaving one situation to move towards you, you may, somebody may be divorcing someone to come towards you Libra because they feel a, a stronger connection with you so let's make this quick okay let's make this real quick because this video is getting kind of long Libra, I only want it to be at least at the longest 30 minutes, but we're at 29 minutes. So, messages for my Libras today, January the 16th. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? January the 16th, Spirit, God's Angels, Universal, the White Light only. Messages for my Libras today, January the 16th. What should my Libras know? The scales. What should my Libras know? Today, January the 16th, please and thank you. Okay, let's do a little split deck and let's go. Okay, let's see here. Mass, yeah, somebody um is not showing true feelings. High personified, pretend, diluting, gaslighting. Yeah, somebody wasn't showing their true feelings, and now they want to with the deception cards. Yeah, math, math. Somebody was wearing a mask. They really felt a certain way about you, but they didn't express that, and you moved on. So now they want to come in and express that. Can I get some messages for my Libras, please? January the 16th. What messages you have for the Libra? What should the Libra know? Okay. 
what should we read this name, Spirit? What should we read this name? Spirit of 16. Okay, I'm going to just take those four. And then we have lightning at the bottom of the deck. It says, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. This person is realizing that they're in love with you. And they could be coming in. It says, not today. Not um, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call, personal, uh, person, yeah, call, person, boundary, still angry. So, yeah, you you could still be upset, Libra, with this person. You ain't, you ain't taking no calls or none of that today. Mirroring each other's self-image. Relationship reflect over wounds. Introspection. Yeah. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is booming. Fun, flirting. Want to date. And then we have love calls. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. So you can get a message today, Libra, from someone. But you're going to be like, not today. I don't know. You know, somebody could be expressing that they like you. Do, 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 wham, wham, wham. It could be a shocking message. Something that shocks you. Something that you'll be surprised to see. I want to get a couple more. Any other additional messages? Whoa. For my Libras. It says the runner. Yeah, runner in a codependent relationship. Fear intimacy. Listen to ego. So this person was running for you in the past. Now I'm running towards you. Endings, new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. Yeah, because you ended the situation. Now this person wants to run back in. The golden mirror, self-observed, narcissist, one-sided relation, love bomb. Yeah, because they were in a one-sided relationship. They were not expressing their feelings. You could have been expressing all your feelings in the past. And this person wasn't expressing anything. So you moved on out of the relationship. That is typical, right? Date, yeah, they want to date, meeting someone new, dating, but um, getting back out there, plans set a date, yeah. Or you could be dating, Libra, you could be deciding that you want to get back out there, you don't want to deal with the same energy anymore, okay? It says twin flames, yin and yang, the balanced union, duality coupling, complement each other. So, with the two of cups down there and it's calling in your soulmate and soulmate card, they do feel like you're the one and they want to move, yeah, butterfly, they want to um. Evolve this relationship into the next phase, healing in a child and growth. Okay, we have sunglasses. So watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing with the page of swords. They're definitely watching you. Acts, it says breakup, separation, stop the pattern, solid treatment, and abandonment. So you cut this person off. And it says both. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on. So this person wants to travel towards you. Okay. Because they feel a connection, a deep connection with you, Libra. So these are the messages I have to for you. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, hit that post notification bell so when I upload, you'll be notified. Please be sure to subscribe, y'all. Help my channel grow. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video.